this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of the Evolution X ROM and yes the updates were stopped for a couple of days but right now it's back and this is the 19th February 2020 build of this ROM. I have been using it for three to four days now and here are my impressions. Well, the first thing which I'll say the stability have been improved a lot and even in the Evolution X version, if you notice closely, it says 4.1.420 and the return official, it says over here on the version section and the Evolution X logo you will find in the Android version and the Android version is 10 of course. And here we have the security patch as latest February 5th, 2020. And if you notice the kernel, this is the Fixie kernel. I think it's pronounced Fixie. Let me go back quickly. And if you go into the system, you of course will find the system updater over here. And you can just check for updates from here. I am decrypted, so I have flashed this ROM with Orange Fox Recovery. I just like wipe cache Dalvik system data from previous ROM. And then I flash the ROM file and the FCrypt disabler. You don't need any gapps to flash with this ROM because the gapps is included in the ROM file itself. Now talking about the stock camera, yes, the MIUI camera have been working fine. This is the stock camera by the way of this ROM. 4K 60fps videos even are working fine. So that is not a problem. Even 960fps logo and stuff and all the lenses are working fine with this camera app. So yeah, the wide angle camera and even the telephoto lens. And if I open the front camera, as you can see the front camera LED with the sounds does work. So that is not a problem. And from here we have the front camera sound effects in the system. You can change the sound effects if you would like as you can do in MIUI. And talking about the customizations, yes, all the customizations are there. And in the lock screen, you will find this icon chooser or the icon picker for the figment scanner. And here you have a lot of icons right now. I have been using this last one. It looks pretty cool. Let me show you on the always on display. This is how it looks like looks pretty cool and attractive I would say and talking about the figment scanner speed it has been working pretty great as you can see the figment scanner unlocks almost 100% of the time from the like lock screen itself so that's not an issue it's unlocking 100% of the time from the lock screen now if I try to show you from the always on display as you can see I'm putting my finger and it unlocked again so no issues whatsoever with the figment scanner that I could find but one more thing that I want to show you is when you have the night light turned on, the fingerprint scanner kind of goes bonkers as you can see. Right now, as you can see, it does not simply unlock. Let's do it with this finger. So with the night light turned on, if you have the night light turned on, it won't work from the always on display. So yeah, sometimes it works from the lock screen display with like night light turned on. Otherwise, like I would say, if you have night light turned on, the fingerprint scanner won't be as reliable as it is without it. Now in the recognizing animation, we get more things like this blue fireworks is the new one and the molecular and stuff was there. Let me show you this blue fireworks effect. If I did not show you earlier, as you can see, this one looks pretty cool. Now let me switch to this halo ring. Pretty cool. This is the DNA one. This is the wave. So you get this idea, right? There are a lot of animations over here which you can choose from and I think these are like really great options to customize on the whole UI and you can even change the pressed icon color effect so you can choose it to cyan or white or green so yeah that's great but I only miss one feature that is the always unlock with the figment scanner which was there earlier but right now it is not simply there so yeah I do miss the always unlocking with the figment scanner feature and of course we have the scrolling feature over here and as you can see this is working pretty fine. So yeah, the scrolling screenshots you can take and they do work fine. No issues whatsoever with the scrolling screenshot feature. It does work like oxygen OS, so that's pretty much great. Now let me go back to the customization settings. In the themes, we have the accent colors and as you can see, you can change whatever accent colors you need from here and you can customize it just like however you want it from this color panel. And we have this color bucket. So you, if you are using the dark theme, I think you can change this as you can see the background color changed a bit. So yeah, these are pretty cool, but I have been using the default one because it's totally black. So yeah, it saves a like little bit of battery, if not a lot. And inside body fonts, we get bunch of body fonts as you can see, of course. In the icon shapes, we have these many icon shapes over here. And we have the status bar icon changing options too. So it does change the like Wi-Fi and like network icons a little bit. 
we have the header image customization in the themes now let me go back to the status bar we have the clock option then network traffic status bar items and stuff headset bluetooth that's try icon you can enable it from here and the evolution x status bar logo is there then the battery icon style you can change it to big circle then circle text circle field and dotted etc but there is no big dotted circle and here we have the battery percentage showing up option you can choose it to be inside the icon or next to the icon and battery percentage when charging is there and talking about charging yes the 18 watt fast charging is working fine no issues with that and you can change the vaulty icon of course to like whatever you want vaulty icon which looks like this so pretty cool i would say you can have anything from like any rom pretty much in the notifications we have the heads up and ticker like disabling option and here the edge lighting right now is working fine i have seen this edge lighting effect while getting any notification out there on the always on display so yeah and you can even change the accent color of this like edge lighting notification so this is a really great feature i would say and it is working fine right now and the ambient display like brightness you can control it if the ambient display actually has that auto brightness kind of thing if i cover the top of the display okay so it just like double tapped kind of so yeah it does not make any changes over here so i think the auto brightness feature from the always on display is like removed over here so i think that is a good side because i have seen it like going bonkers with one tube light turned on right now that thing does not happen we have the blink like flashlight for incoming calls then the call waiting and stuff then the in-call vibration options is there now let me go back to the quick settings we have the disable quick settings when locked and stuff column and row number customization title title etc now let me go back to the power menu we have the advanced reboot option of course in the lock screen too so that's really great you can reboot to recovery whenever you want and let me go to the gestures we have the usb gestures from here you can choose the like android 10 navigation or two button or three button navigation as you would like and in the settings of this you can hide this pill over here to get the full screen real estate so that's really great now we have the touch screen gestures for the haptic feedback and stuff so swipe to take screenshot is there brightness control on the status bar feature does work super fine over here no issues as you can see it is like changing the brightness by just sliding on the status bar and i really use this feature on a daily basis and i really like it screen of power button torch is working fine double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen is there and by the way the stock launcher again is the like google pixel launcher and there is no double tap to sleep on the home screen but double tap to sleep on the status bar is there and that simply works flawlessly now let's go to the lock screen again and here the pocket detection and stuff is there then we get status bar etc and the charging animation is there whenever you plug it in it does the pixel kind of animation so that looks good in the navigation we have the system navigation kind of things and then there is this controls whether the navigation bar is displayed and stuff if you are using the two button and three button navigation bar i guess and the invert layout and stuff is there now let me go to the hardware buttons here we have the volume panel customization and then we get the animations over here you can change the screen of animation to crd or scale and scrolling cache and stuff you can change if you want the quick setting toggle animations are there too then we have the list view animation changing option and then the whole ui animation is present you can change any animation as you would like it in the misc settings it takes a little bit of time to go into and here you get the wake up on charge disabling option then the charging animation is there again so that's great and here we have the usb configuration you can change the default usb configuration to file transfer if you would like and then like we have some more settings over here not really helpful in the battery settings here is how it looks like it shows the battery temperature on the bottom and talking about the battery life here is how i am getting the battery life i would say but the battery life has been really good i have been getting seven plus hours of screen on time easily with my usage so no issues to get about a day of usage with this rom in the display settings we have the night light then the lock screen display and stuff the always on display is turned on right now let me go to the bottom we have the double tap to wake and the dc dimming feature is there there is no like accent color changing option because it is there in the like customization panel in the evolution x settings kind of over here in the sound settings we have the mi audio dirac and this mi audio dirac is working fine if you change this to like this youth edition the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is super fine over here no issues that i could find and here you can disable the screenshot sound and it does work and haptic feedback and stuff you can change however you want it like if you want the haptic feedback to be light or strong you can do that too the stock dialer does not simply have the call recording option over here which is the pixel kind of dialer 
or the in-call UI. So yeah, but the Valdi calling over Wi-Fi calling and stuff, everything works over here. No, that's not a problem. The whole user experience over here is really great. And you can add a bunch of toggles from here too. As you can see, you can have and like add anything from here. And you can disable heads up and stuff if you'd like from here. As you can see, always on display, you can turn it off and on from here. So a lot of options like that. The whole UI is really good. And even the RAM management and stuff, the whole UI is performance never like becomes laggy and stuff so almost everything is like buttery smooth over here i did not see any problems in the ui any stutterings and stuff and i have also installed this google camera and it has been working fine if you want to install this google camera here will be a card for you night sight and stuff everything works even with all three lenses over here so that's not a problem simply now talking about banking apps google pay is working fine right out of the box so you don't need to worry the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working fine. You can play PUBG on extreme like settings, the highest settings possible, HDR and extreme, I guess. You can play on that. And here is the Android score of this ROM. So I think this is like right now a pretty great daily driver. And I am just happy that the Evolution X just came back for Redmi K20 Pro and it is working like a charm. Let me know what do you guys think in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.